hello everyone welcome to this channel in this video we are going to uh, talk about uh, invalidity message on required input inside a form so here uh, there are four inputs the one is input with custom invalidity message inside form this is an input with required uh, attribute inside the form I try to submit this without uh, filling uh, uh, the, the field or the input. So as you see here, name is required. This is a custom message. And the other one is input without custom invalidity message inside form. So this uh, happens when you submit uh, a forum without filling the input. You see, please fill out this field. So this is the default behavior of a required input inside a forum. But uh, when you have a website uh, in another language other than English, you better uh, set uh, uh, a custom message uh, in your own language uh, for your own people it is uh, uh, very user friendly instead of uh, that uh, uh, the users uh, uh, get uh, a message in english but the rest of uh, your application or your website is uh, in your own language there are some uh, important things uh, First, I want to show you these things. So, input with custom invalidity message, but without forum. I submit, I, I see nothing. And then, input without custom invalidity message and without forum, nothing happens. So, the required attribute works. Uh, only when the input is inside a forum and in the first one I said uh, uh, a custom message name is required so let us get to the code as you see here uh, the input is inside the forum it has required attribute it has a placeholder which is not that uh, important in in our case for now and here you have on invalid on invalid is uh, an event that uh, when you do not uh, enter anything in the input that is invalid you see so on invalid is for example you set uh, a minimum or maximum length uh, on your input uh, you make it required to have a value uh, and then you uh, can also set uh, some attribute to uh, specify what type of uh, data what type of text uh, should uh, be uh, entered uh, in, in this input and if it is not uh, in that case then it is invalid and you get this message so on invalid uh, you see that uh, on on this uh, that this keyword uh, refers to this uh, input element so this input element set custom validity uh, and then inside of this you pass uh, uh, an argument uh, with uh, your custom message uh, for example in my case i uh, mm -hmm, said here name is uh, required and then for uh, the best practice you also set another one on input when the user enter some enters something then you set uh, this dot set custom validity to an empty string to actually remove this message so as long as the input is invalid you get the message but when it is valid you will no longer get uh, the message on your forum uh, get uh, submitted 
i hope you learned something from this video thank you for watching uh, and hopefully see you in the next video